This has got to be one of the clearest cases of confusion that I've ever seen. Many of you have parked in the wrong car park and received a parking charge notice because you've mistaken it for another car park. And I know this because many of you have emailed me to tell me so, and it's quite frustrating. And very often it's confusing because they're managed by the same people. They are in very much the same location, just on the opposite side of the road. And it's a very simple mistake to make. But this one really takes the biscuit. So one of you guys, my viewers, emailed me to say that they were traveling to London and staying overnight. So they pre-booked a parking space and they used the website uh, yourparkingspace.co.uk. Now, this is no heavy criticism of that website. I think I understand where the problem came from. I think the photographs are, came about through Open Street View and therefore it's caused some confusion. But it's the confusion and what we do about it that we'll talk about in this video. So taking a look here, uh, this was one of the car parks. They're both managed by Park Maven, from whom my viewer received a parking charge notice. Now, this is one of the car parks here. It's Derby Midland Hotel. And you'll see from the photograph here that if we zoom in, um, you can see that it says Derby Station Hotel on the photograph against the listing for Derby Midland Hotel. If we look at another photograph here, we see directly opposite the entrance to that one, this one says Derby Hotel in similar coloured uh, billboard, similar name on the side. This one says Derby Hotel, the other one says Derby Station Hotel. You might be mistaken for thinking that they're the same thing. When you look at them on the map, as my viewers very helpfully set out here, you'll see that there are two separate car parks here. You can see the arrows pointing to this same road here to show that the entrances are opposite each other. They're both 750. The entrance is not over here, as you can see from the uh, annotation here, where this is saying 750 over here. Actually, the entrance to the both car parks is over here. And you can see the entrance to those car parks opposite each other, and they look very much the same. Now, that being the case, if we look at this one here, it shows they are directly opposite each other. Now, if you were going to, let's say, this one here, the Derby Station Hotel for 750 in this box here, and you arrive at this location and it's got this these pictures against it on the listing, you would then be forgiven for thinking that these are the same car park because they look very much the same. It's the same place on the map. You remember that the other car park is somewhere else. It's down in this bottom right-hand corner, whereas the entrance to it is actually over here. So you might think on the map that it's somewhere else and the entrance is down here, which it isn't. It's actually here. So when you come to this location, you can see them opposite. You get the point. I'm over laboring it here. But the point is this. They received a parking charge notice for saying that they'd been uh, in the, the wrong car park. But that wasn't what they first thought. They first thought that it was that they'd overstayed because if we look at what they actually said in an email to me, it says, I was surprised to find that I received a parking charge notice from Park Maven as it said that I'd arrived at 1621 and left the parking space on Wednesday 2036. So I was being charged for nine minutes early and leaving six minutes late. Now, whilst that might seem quite petty, they would technically be right for saying that you've stayed in the car park longer than you've paid for. But that wasn't actually the problem. Problem. My viewer then said, I received a reply from Park Maven stating that I'd booked a space at the Derby Midland Hotel instead of the Derby Station Hotel, where I intended to park. Remember, they are opposite each other, so it would be easy to mistake them. Park Maven managed both parking lots and they said that there was an error it was my fault. They would reduce the fine. It's not a fine. It's a parking charge notice down to £25. So I was a little puzzled as I never booked Derby Midland Hotel, so I checked and it turns out that I had booked a space at Derby Midland Hotel and not Derby Station Hotel. So my viewer goes on, I went back to the site that I'd booked it and noticed why I'd made the mistake. If you go to yourparkingspace.co.uk, now this is not an endorsement nor a heavy criticism because I can explain why that's happened. These photographs have arrived from that open street thing and there is a problem. So the onus is on people to check that it is actually the right car park, but by the by. And my viewer says, if you put in Derby Railway, one of the first options that comes up is Derby Midland Hotel. However, the images for Derby Midland Hotel, there's a picture of the entrance for Derby Station Hotel. So a long video, you might think, for a very simple confusion, but this results in a lot of stress for people. Now, I understand that this is sorted, or at least mostly sorted out, and these things should get relatively simply sorted out. If you point out this confusion and error on the part of the website provider to say, well, 
it was quite a simple mistake to make that somebody could make because these photographs are misleading. And if something is misleading or confusing or unfair, ambiguous, etc., then it's usually going to be resolved in favour of the consumer. So if this did, I don't think it's going anywhere near court, but if this did and things like this did go all the way to court, in my view, it's not that this is legal advice, but in my view, it's going to fall down in favour of the consumer because this is confusing, misleading, it's easy to make that mistake, and any reasonable person looking at those listings might see those photographs and book the wrong place. But a simple mistake, but ultimately caused by the error in the photographs. So I know that this is not a one-off occurrence because lots of you have emailed me with exactly this problem. Now all I can say is be absolutely thorough when you check these things because when they come through it might be a really simple silly mistake and you might get the stubborn one that just doesn't help you. In this case I understand that it was all resolved with good common sense so I'm pleased to hear that and I hope that that's the case for anyone else that ends up in this problem. But if you do get one of the stubborn ones that doesn't assist you Make sure you document it just as well as my viewer has here because he or she has posted all of this evidence and it was headed for appeal, I think, but it stopped ahead of time and it didn't have to go all the way and I understand that it's been cancelled. So I'm pleased to hear that. But let me know your stories or horror stories in the comment section below or email them to me and I can put them up on screen just like this so that we can all avoid these parking charge notices wherever possible. So with that, do like the video and subscribe on the way out and thank you for watching.